Hello everybody, this is Adam a Nation and welcome to Life is Strange. Now I just got this, I have not seen anything about this game except I've been wanting to play this for so long. But we're going to dive right into this together and see how it goes. You ready? Okay. Let's do it. Checking downloadable content. I don't have any. Uh, save one. Uh, new game, of course, because I have never played this and I have no idea what to expect. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice and consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right. Oops. What's going on? Slow down, game. We just got into it. Uh-oh. That's not good. Wake up, Missy. Probably don't want to be laying out out here. Where am I? What's happening? I have no idea. Good ch good question. Well, we should probably just get moving. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. All right. I hope. Please let me make it there. All right, well, let's go. It's uh, guess something bad's gonna probably happen and not let me get in there. Got her. She's probably be running a little. Whoa. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Was... What is that thing? Good. Yeah. No kidding. That, it's like a, the mega tor, whoa, uh oh. Whoa. That was a mega tornado. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class, everything's cool, I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. Very weird. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Well, you didn't say that, but they're the subtitles. Oh, Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her image. Uh, camera? You feel like totally take a selfie. Yeah, we're gonna take a selfie. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a... <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for... Selfie express. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. My name is Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation. Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Uh, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Damn. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. 
The Daguerrean process uh, faces, making them extremely let me, popular. Let me look at this thing. Oh. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Uh, I like it old school. What was down there? I'm gonna go in the journal first. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Oh, that's the bell. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> of course. Max, what an interesting name for a girl. But I won't judge. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Let me, uh, ooh, computer. What the heck? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, whoops. Hi, Max. I hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Uh, let's go grab a cup of tea. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. Okay. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh God. Ooh, marks. Oh, this might make a cool shot. I'll take a photo of it. Why do I still have the flash on? Oh. It's a tablet. That looks like her stuff. I don't want to get mixed in with that. Can I, uh... Can I move... Can I talk to him, Mr. Snoot... Miss Snooty Booty? Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Uh, I didn't have any time. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? Blah, 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 blah. But you do have a gift. Ooh. You have the fever to take images. Yes. And self is, apparently. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with Okay. Them. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Uh. Ooh. Hey, a picture. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Might be a good photo opportunity. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. It's like. Hey, a TV. Well, that's a big TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. <laughs> Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest new... I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh, God, the speed. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What? Damn, they have carbon fiber yeah. here. The so this place is pretty prestigious. Uh, I guess I'm going to get out of the... At least you like something, girl. You got you to gotta do what you love in life. You didn't tell me how cute I look yet. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of class. What? Hi, school. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Square Enix. Nice. I didn't know this was by Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. <laughs> there you go. Block it out with the headphones. Oh, crud. It's probably copyrighted music. So... Life is Strange, episode one. 
just keep looking. My locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Definitely copyrighted. Oh, well. Missing person. It looks like she's been gone for months. Watching the world from the bright side. Yeah. Seems. All right, where are we going? Oh, bitch. There's a bathroom. All right, Romeo and Juliet over there. Let's go into the bathroom and wash our face off. No one can tell Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. It's a cruddy bathroom. Good God. Hey, the Illuminati. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Yeah. Whatever. What's this? It's the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that's the truth. It's, it's such a weird thing. Is you inject yourself with the flu to get out of the flu? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. <laughs> it all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Yep, just crazy. Nothing else gonna happen in this game. You're just going crazy. Yeah, this bathroom is nasty. Girls, this is what you go through. Just this bathroom is disgusting. Torturing yourself. You have a gift. Huh? Sure do. I don't even know. Fuck it. <gasps> no! Huh? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. A blue butterfly. Okay, bro, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Okay, take a photo. Don't even look at it. Just photo it. We got a good photo. Why is there a guy? That's creepy. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Yeah. You're in the wrong bathroom, man. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. What the heck's going on? You've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. What? I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Mm -hmm. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am oh. or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Hey, whoa, what's going on? Whoa. Uh-oh. Huh? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Likely what? These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Oh. Example of a Man, I cannot believe this. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, bro. I'm crazy. I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Can I? 
Whoa, this is some Prince of Persia shit right here. I did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Oh. Perfectly captured the human time machine. I'm gonna do a selfie again, because I know the answer. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Yep, there it is. This is a Prince of Persia stuff right here. Good God. Anyone remember that? Sands of Time? I know I'm not dreaming. That was awesome. It's real. I can tell. Your generation so I can go back in time. Mm. expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly I don't want to skip it. Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Oh, God. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows their Jefferson wants to keep me after Honestly, class. And I need time to save that girl. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good. Sad face. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? I can get out of here, I'll just give him the right answer. What the heck? Okay. Rewind past my little part that I said something. Okay, okay. Now, Max, since you captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits uh yeah that thing the daguerrean process invented by a french painter named louise daguerre around 1830 somebody has been reading as well as posing nice work Max. great time baby bubbles the daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features okay i need you to like learn more when you actually finish reading need to get out of here Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay, so... Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. All right, let's hurry up and get to that bathroom quickly. Let's go. I see you, Max Caulfield. Uh -oh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Whoops. I'd never let one of photography's future stars. I gotta skip it. Handing in her picture. Uh, not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about. Thousand pixels. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Good quote. Don't let me stop you. It's like right now, you're watching me, and life is a. Uh... section. Uh, but I don't. I don't want to. Okay. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I'll speak to you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens <laughs> while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. <laughs> Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Good. Because I'm going to go get a picture of that butterfly and save a girl's life. Hey, totally. you. All right, see when I open this door and go do that. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. 
I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Well, I don't know why we would, but okay. We're going in. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. Okay. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the... Butterfly balloon. And I took a photo. And then here we go. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know wow. who the fuck I am. Well, what can I do? Ah. Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I need a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. Okay. Uh, a little more. This is good. How do I go? Show me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody. Oh, already got it. Hammer. Ooh. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Okay. Another shitty day. Oh god. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Some time stuff. Freak out. So, diff we are alarm. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in gear. Well, thanks. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding? No, I'm trying to get out of here. You asshole. Hey, Mr. Madsen, the situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Gosh. You got something against me? Find out later. Okay, so uh, head outside or talk to Mr. Dude. Uh, speak. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? Not really. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, uh... talk to me. Nathan hide the truth. I'm gonna get him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. <laughs> I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Yeah, I can do anything, are you? After what I told we'll you, we'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. But dang it, I'm trying to help girl. This academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Hmm. Uh, I don't want to not say anything. I want. I'm gonna protect that girl. Yep. I want. Yeah. He seems like a. He seems like a douche. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. He's after me.
Assistant Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Where is he? Everyone's just hanging out. People are pretty interesting looking. Jordan, Warren, wait. Oh, it's going really quick. Okay, uh, very beginning. Hey, did you meet me? Oh. I'm asking you. Sorry, running around insane day. I'll meet you. I meet you in the mall. I'm looking cool. You'll see. The camera will be ready. See you shortly. Hope so. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's your dorm? Uh, what the heck? Uh, Max. Uh, I I don't know. Let's go find the uh, dorm room, I guess. I don't want to go that way. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well. Actually, depending on the time, I actually am all out of time for this episode. This looks fun and incredible. I, it has a lot of... I just keep thinking of, like, Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time, when you first get that dagger, and then, like, all of a sudden you just rewind time, and when that first happened, that, like, blew my mind. This is so well written, and I love these storytelling games where you choose the outcome, and... Like, that a bird? What the heck? What was that? Well, anyway, I'm rambling on, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There are plenty more to come, and I'll get these up as quick as I can. Um, actually, today's the 11th. So, see, this is going up today on the 12th, or year today. Tomorrow will be Doom. It's going to be on a Friday. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be up. I might even live stream it. Don't know yet. kind of want to do an episode just to keep it so I can have it in a... Um, playlist. I'm going to try and organize everything. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in another episode. Bye bye. Hi. I beg you to accept my offer. Of course, that is an incredible job. Great. Let's go to the big clock. Basically.